Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room. My name is Laura and on this channel, I share crafts, hauls, and more. If these are topics that interest you, I sure hope that you subscribe, become part of my YouTube family so I can get to know you as well. And with all that said, let's have some fun. It's that time again for the five under five DIY challenge that's hosted on the fifth of every month by Missy from Crafty Cove DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. Every month they have a co-host and their co-host this month is Tammy from The Rusted Willow. I'll talk more about this challenge in just a bit. For now, let's get started. For this DIY, I will be making a red, white, and blue garland to go along with my patriotic decor. For this project, you'll need some round and square beads. I pick these up from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they do carry the round beads in the bag now. I have not seen the square ones though. So anyway, I'm just going to remove all the beads from this string and then move on to the next step. Here I'm just kind of grouping my beads together, getting a feel of how I want to make my garland. I decided I want the round beads to be the color antique wax and the square beads to be red, white, and blue. I use the color ocean, red barn, and white. I usually paint my beads on a skewer. You know, you just add your beads to a skewer, then you paint it that way. But on these playlists that I've been watching, I have learned so many new techniques and this is the baggy technique. I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. So what you want to do is you want to grab a baggy, of course, and you want to add some paint and water and then, you know, mix that together inside the baggy, add your beads, swish it around in there, and then just dump your beads out you know, to dry. I think I didn't add enough water. My paint was kind of clumpy or my beads were clumpy. I kind of like a more finished smooth look on my beads. So next time I will be sure to add more water to my paint. So here I'm just dumping out the beads onto a paper plate and then separating them to dry. I also want to add some stars to my tassels. So I'm going to use two of these wood stars from the Dollar Tree. I did drill a small hole right on the top of one of the peaks and painted those with the color Ocean Chalk Paint by Waverly. There are so many different ways to make tassels here on YouTube. I'm just going to show you how I make mine. I'm going to make a small tassel, so I'm only going to use three fingers. I'm going to wrap my yarn 20 times around those fingers, and I'm using the Just Cotton yarn. I picked that up at the Dollar Tree, and then I try to end my ends on the same end. You see there where my ends meet, both at the bottom. I just clamp it together, and then I'm going to get another piece of yarn long enough for my tassel and to add on my tassels. So here I'm just going to take the end of that long string and I'm just going to slip it through all my loops and tie a knot. And now I'm just kind of coming all the yarn down. I'm going to clamp it together just so it'll stay in place for me while I grab a smaller piece of yarn. And I'm going to be wrapping my tassel five times. So it just depends on, you know, your tassel, how long you want to cut your yarn. So I'm going to grab all my pieces together. I'm going to start by adding one end to the top of my tassel, making a smaller loop than the rest with that same string that I was working with for the loop. I'm going to wrap around my tassel five times. Mm -hmm. 
And with that same end that I was using to wrap the tassel, I'm gonna slip it through that small loop that we made. It doesn't have to be tight. Then you're gonna add, grab the other end that we left at the top, pull it tight, and that will hide your knot of your tassel. Normally, I would just cut that off real close to you know the edge, but I'm gonna be adding a star, so I'm gonna leave that alone for now. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim my tassel just like so. Voila, a tassel. So I'm gonna take a large needle with a large eye and I'm gonna thread that little piece that I was telling you about that I would normally cut off. I'm gonna add that wood star, tie it in a knot and trim the excess. And then I just threaded my yarn again on the opposite end of that tassel and then I started adding my beads. I want two antique wax round beads on each end of my garland with red, white, and blue, then one round antique wax in between those groups. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> so here I'm just adding all my beads and then we will tie off another tassel in just one sec. Okay, so I just tied a new tassel at the end of my garland and then I'm going to add my star and then I'll trim it and this garland is done. For DIY number two, I will be making mason jars, red, white, and blue, of course, that say faith, family, and freedom. For time purposes, I went ahead and painted my mason jars with those same three colors from my last DIY, ocean, barn red, and white. And then I wanna add some wood appliques to my jars as well. So I'll be using the hearts from Valentine's Day and the stars from the Dollar Tree. I pre-drilled some holes so I can hang them from my twine and I'm gonna paint those red, white, and blue as well. So red, white, and blue stars and red, white, and blue hearts. These jars are Pinterest inspired. I do know that they used burlap. I just can't remember if it was ribbon that they used or whatnot, but I have this big roll of burlap that I got at Walmart last year. So I'm just gonna cut three small strips from this, but I'm sure that you can use ribbon, any kind of material that you want for these. Um, I'm gonna choose the burlap because I want my edges to be frayed. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I cut out the words faith, family, and freedom with my Cricut. I cut out some stencils and then I just started adding the word faith. Now, this is my first time stenciling on material and I was having a bit of a struggle. It did not want to stick because this burlap is real, real hairy. So if anyone has any suggestions, um, can you let a girl know? Because yeah, I was struggling, but with a little bit of patience and a whole lot of perseverance, <laughs> I finally got it. And then I just um, started painting on with my dabber brush, just pouncing up and down my word faith and voila, there it is and I just use my grandson's little tweezers to pull off those little pieces of paper or plastic or vinyl, I should say. And then I'm gonna take some of this cotton twine that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It is in the color tan. And I think the one on Pinterest used jute, but this is what I'll be using. And as soon as I can find the end here, I will, uh, let's see, there we go. I think I found it. I Did I? Nope. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Okay, I finally found the end. And this is what I'm gonna use to wrap around the mouth of my jars. So here I wanna use my star in my heart, right? So I want each jar to have red, white, and blue in it. So I'm just kind of grouping my pieces together. So for the blue one, I have a red heart and a white star. And then I just started adding the thread around the mouth of the jar. And I just used a little bit of glue here and there just to keep it down. And then I trimmed down the 
burlap down to size all the way around, just trimming it and fraying the edges, just pulling the strings out all the way um, on each side of that word. And then I will use some Mod Podge to glue that down to the front of the jar. Isn't that cute? I just love these jars. And now I want to add a cute little bow with the star and the heart. I'm going to add the star first and then the heart because I want the um, heart to be behind my star just like so. And then I just tied that in a knot so it wouldn't move around on me. And then I just made a cute bow or wrapped it around twice, made a cute bow and that was it for this jar and I just repeated the process with the red and white jars as well. And then this project is done. Don't forget to go check out these beautiful ladies' channels. We have Missy from Crafty Cove DIY. We have Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And we have Tammy from The Rusted Willow. I will link their channels as well as the playlist in my description box. And I hope that you will go and show them some love. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun. I do. I can speak for myself. I think you will too. Anyway, let's get on to DIY number three. For this DIY, I will be making or painting a birdhouse. I have been watching lots of the playlists lately and oh my goodness, these creators are so creative. They have inspired me because I was just like, I want to make one too. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a patriotic birdhouse. So here I am just going to paint the bottom portion of the house with the color white and that is chalk paint. For my roof I will be painting the bottom portion with the color barn red and then the peak will be the color ocean blue. Once my paint was dry I'm going to take these rub-on transfers these are the gold foil ones from the Dollar Tree. These are very, very sticky. The first time I cut out a picture, it stuck to my table. I just laid it down. When I went to pull it up, it, it was on my table. <laughs> so I ended up uh, cutting some other pictures out. I have uh, the eagle, and I have some big stars and small stars, and I even have some fireworks. So the eagle is on the back side of my birdhouse. Those small stars will be on the bottom of the perch in the front with some larger stars here and there. And then on the sides of the birdhouse, I added some fireworks. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding all my rub-on transfers. And then once I was done with my transfers, I just thought it was just too gold for me. So I got out my paints. I tried the rose gold color and it just made it pink. So then I took some white chalk paint and I just dry brushed all over the transfers. And then I wiped it with a wet towel and that toned down that gold just perfect for me. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding the white and then just rubbing it off and it was perfect. And for my birdhouse, I wanted it to have a sand. So I'm going to take one of these glass dessert cups. They come from the Dollar Tree and I painted it with matte white paint by Rust-Oleum. And now I'm going to alternate dry brushing with the colors Territorial Beige and Beach Comber Beige. 
just back and forth until I thought it looked like a tree trunk. And this DIY is done. I love the way that this came out. Let's move on to DIY number four. For this DIY, I will be making a star wreath using one of those bamboo wreaths from the Dollar Tree. I will also be using a star yard stake that I picked up last year from the Dollar Tree and some the, of the new blue garland and some white. And let's see, I used some cotton twine as well. So let's get started. I want to start off by removing that star from that stake and boy oh boy this one was being a booger a lot of them just pop right off but this one was not wanting to budge i finally did get it but do you see that hole there in the back where that little piece of metal is flipped back i'm gonna pull that forward um it, just enough to be able to get a piece of twine through there because that's what i want to use to tie the star onto my wreath but we'll get into that in just a bit for now i'm going to take some white chalk paint and i'm just going to dry brush across this star because i want to really really make this star look like it's been out in the weather it is dirty it is rusty it is old so i'm going to start with some white and then i did go in with some territorial beige and some of the breech comber beige that I used in my last DIY. So I'm just going to alternate back and forth until I get that nice dirty look that I'm going for. And then I got out my antique wax and I'm just going to lightly brush all along those bent edges of the star just to define that star just a bit because it did get kind of washed out with all that dry brushing. So here, that's what I'm doing here just you know going along the edges and along each crease of that star I took some needle nose pliers and I pulled that tab far enough away from that star where I can get some jute in there but it was a tight fit I used some uh, needle nose pliers and a skewer to kind of poke it in there and that's what I want to hang the star to the jute with so I'm just you know getting it through there as best I can, and then I will move on to the next step. Then I glued that jute hanger to the back of the star just like so, so my star will hang just right with the stars to the upper left. And then I'm gonna take another piece of jute, run that through that loop, and tie it onto the wreath with a knot, and I just snipped off the excess. And now I want to add some garland to my wreath. I'm going to take the red garland and just wrap around that wreath sparingly. I didn't want it to have a whole lot of color because, you know, it's been outside. It looks worn and rusty and, you know, the look that I'm going for. So I added the red and then I added some of that new blue. It's beautiful. But once I got it on there, it just looked really, really clean. So I just dry brushed some white um, onto the blue little berries and that toned it way down and I I loved it. I didn't end up using the white garland because it is the pearly white and it just didn't go with this wreath. Um, but I did find some matte garland but um, I already had made the, the wreath so I just did without the white. And this DIY is done. For DIY number five, I'll be making a patriotic floral arrangement using the wooden pencil holder from the Dollar Tree, as well as the stencils. And I will be using the Mod Podge technique where you apply some Mod Podge underneath your stencil that holds your stencil in place, as well as prevents bleeding, or as much bleeding, I should say. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna add some Mod Podge, then my stencil. For the upper part of the heart, it will be ocean blue, and then the stripes will be barn red. Thank you. 
And then on the other side, I will be using the shooting star there that you see. So the star will be blue and the streaks will be barn red. Once my paint was dry, I'm gonna take the boxwood and these berry picks from the Dollar Tree, as well as some scrap floral foam. I didn't even glue it in, just in case I wanna change it up later. I'm gonna start with adding the boxwood and then some berry picks, and that was it. Super simple for this one. I hope you all have enjoyed my video today, and don't forget to check out that playlist. I think you're gonna enjoy. And here's the final reveal. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.